So, yeah, yeah. the last time on Elden Ring. <laughs> last time on Elden Ring. This is a clip that's one hour long. Okay. The reason why it's one hour long is because one hour is the maximum that you can record of a clip <laughs> before it cuts off automatically. You cannot go longer than that if you're using the PlayStation recording system. So, oh, yeah, the, do you recognize where we are? This, this wise where we have to seek the three wise beasts. Indeed, right? All right how'd that go? Well, uh, what you can see is a solid 60 minutes of riding around in circles, ever concentric, moving outward and outward until it became absolutely absurd in regards to uh, where or what the solution to the puzzle might be. Now, eventually, there were messages that started popping up around the ground that were talking about beasts like really far out from where the tower is. So then you're like, oh, I see the game we're playing here. We need to ride um, until we literally are like the entire the entire island becomes a search zone oh. for getting into the rise. What? Right? And you make it to the end, ass end of the of the top, and you start looking around. Right? And then you start to see some messages that are like, you know, over here, this is probably a point of interest. And so it's like, okay. Um... You, you look around and nothing appears to be visible. A bunch of turtles. So then it's like, okay, well, this is clearly a lot of people pointing out that this is the correct direction to be in. Um, now, if you've already done this puzzle, you might already be saying to yourself, uh-oh, I know what's wrong. And yes, you're exactly correct. You come around, and you look, and you wonder, well, clearly the messages are saying that after taking a while to eventually find this... this uh, thing... Uh, <laughs> it must be... it must be... Therefore likely bug. Well, well but, but like, perhaps it's an invisible issue, or perhaps it's an invisible turtle or whatever. That message lands right on the fucking mark, right? So you're like, what... what am I doing, right? Now, knowing that, um, seeing that message, now in retrospect, of course, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> when you're going forward in time, when messages might just be complete bullshit, you might be thinking to yourself, well, uh, other turtles have been invisible before. Yeah. Perhaps the turtles are not only very far away from the tower, but also invisible. Mm -hmm. Now, that seems a bit insane, but... Perhaps this tower is meant to be fucking insane. Yeah. Let's here's, entertain that thought for a second. Here's a lot of blood stains. Here's a lot of people dying. Here's a lot of behold tears and so on. So you fucking you you do whatever you can. You shoot at anything and nothing. <laughs> Cannon everywhere. Hoping for an, inv to an invisible turtle to die. Um seeing a message down there. Right? Maybe something, there's some messages that lead, like, like maybe there's a, an, an angle that needs to be taken into account. Beast ahead, for example, but try bow. So what? you're like, okay, Back maybe up? it's, maybe it's, 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 it's perched, right? <laughs> Bug, sneak up. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Let's pull a bow out. Let's start shooting it what might be. Points of interest? The top of that, maybe? I already tried the top, it didn't do anything. Nothing, right? Seems to be completely pointless. Alright, fuck this one. Right, maybe message of bug is, is, is just what it is. Uh, there's clearly more than one. We gotta keep riding around. Right? Uh, 
we 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 keep riding around. Well, actually, I come back and I look, and I oh, really that sucks. You went there. And you're like, oh, this is a big baby. Big maybe, <laughs> but like the amount of messages talking about beast seems to be very clear. But it has to be what the fuck here. ever, right? Yeah. So it's like, all right, maybe um, it'll just make sense once we make our way over. So another message somewhere in there said something to the effect of like seek wind uh, tunnel and then beast or okay. whatever. So it's like, okay, it must be in this oh, area. Bunch of turtles here. That would make sense. It's a bunch of turtles gathered around okay. again. Furthermore, some of these messages refer to a beast. Also, you've got up. Exactly. Messages okay. like that. So I'm like, you're pointing at what? You're pointing at what must be like the wind tunnel, mm -hmm. something hidden in the trees, perhaps. Maybe because the wind tunnel doesn't lead to anything else. The only thing it did was let me jump off the side. Right. So then I was like, OK, I, I, you know, looking around for something invisible, perhaps whatever. Uh, we do this jump many, many times looking around for a view that might lead to a beast. Um. At so you, I'm questioning, you know, my, my, of course, my, the clues, and I'm questioning myself, and I'm looking mm. in every direction, and I'm jumping up many, many times looking for a beast. Nothing flashing. And... No bright beasts. And so, um, eventually, uh, nothing shows up, thus, I... Keep ride on. around to the top of the mountain part and start looking whatever nothing there you get the point nothing happens eventually i go okay after an hour of this puzzle um i'm just going to fucking look it up because i'm confused okay uh eventually that hour passes and uh, nothing yields. And so the first thing I see when I go to type it in is that people are uh, discussing uh, that they're not getting the turtles appearing and that uh, there appears to be some situations where some people uh, recognize that the turtles would not appear once you've read the book and that you would have to go back and read it again. But if you teleport, you also get rid of the turtles, and so you have to met. You have to go read it again, and then ride out to them. And so, the hour comes to an end. Once again, we do that. We go back out to the locations, and we see that. That's not okay. So not before, now. Because, like, how are you going to miss this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now it shows up. Mm -hmm. Now, people described a couple of different What's odd things about the situation. Uh, because weird behavior seemed to change for a lot of people in this circumstance. You might be, for example, looking at the situation and thinking, well, quite simply... Um, fair enough, Willie, you read the book, but at the beginning of that initial search, uh, that was where you, you perhaps didn't and missed out on seeing it appear. And I'd say, okay, fair point. However, within this same run of where that bug, the, of where that, that, um, turtle was just punched, we ride over back to this area. We keep going. We didn't reload, just... Didn't check. reload anything. Okay. Put the marker down. That's what you're supposed to be. Came back over this way. And a whole heap of nothing continued to be present. So, after continuously jumping around there, mm -hmm. perhaps looking from above and seeing how much nothing was appearing, and you're going, but hold on, but the first run, though, you didn't, that, it was, it was just as intended, right? You didn't read and therefore it didn't... Yeah, but this time I did read and you just saw the one that appeared over there. And you're still on the same... And I'm still on the same run, but here it's not happening. So what's the problem now, right? <laughs> and it turns out, yes, it is bugged. It, it There is an issue with this thing. And when I did uh, 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 first teleport up here, I did read it. And then when I loaded this back up, I did read it again. Um, 
But the idea of it being reset between loads, okay, I can, I, if that's part of the problem, then I understand that. But there still is, within a read, where I've sat at the, ta the tower and read the thing, there's still nothing appearing here. So, after a whole lot of not that, I ride back over. And I know it's not fun to hear um, me being salty and complaining about things, but this was genuinely silly. And I tried to really just, like, find it on my own. Yeah. And then I rode back over this way. <laughs> wow. And then I saw that over there. And I was like, oh. We're still not unbugged because the, the third one is appearing over here. So then I'm like, let me just take out this one. And then figure out what the fuck is happening back with the third one. And then this occurs. That looked weird. Yeah. And... That was two. That was two. The third one never appeared. So... I did read the thing, and then it still did not appear. <laughs> so people that have been sharing their online experience about this particular rise being bugged um, are correct. It is bugged. And uh, what sucks is... I guess I was just trying to like accept that okay this is gonna be a hard one but fuck it <laughs> let me just put it in you know what I mean let me just put the work in because I was trying to, to yeah. earn it I was trying to earn it yes you tried very hard and that was my mistake I suppose uh, because it also happens to be the some one that doesn't work and that is just like well god damn it if you're gonna make something the particularly most challenging um, to find you have to make sure it fucking it works. works man you know, if you're doing an obtuse puzzle, you cannot let it be bugged. You have to ensure this works, right? I think that's reasonable. That's a not fun uh, result to something that I was like fully expecting. I, I said I'm gonna give myself the time, you know. So you anyway, tried. anyway, you get it. You get it. Yeah, that yeah. that's a weird sequence. That's not cool. But that's what happened, and here we are. <laughs> so what was on top? Chelona's rise. Well done, and then precious item. <laughs> yeah, I would call that. I would upgrade that to B. I'd call that a B class. Yeah, it's very annoying. Very annoying. Not critical, but um, like you can the combination of we wanted it to be obtuse with also it might not work is just fucking it is it is uh, critical mental damage on that so okay um fully prepared for a world where it was just a matter of like you have to prop it every, you have to read to prop it every time but anyways um so up to the top of the tower and we get to a chest Praise the angel. Is it more than a memory stone? Whoa. Rani's dark moon? Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Incarnate a cold dark moon and launch it at foes. 68 intelligence required. She's got her own version. Uh -huh. Legendary sorcery symbolic of the Kayan queen. Uses a caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold dark moon, then sends it floating toward foes. The dark moon dispels all sorcery that touches it, and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. The, this moon was encountered by a young Rani, led by the hand of her mother Renala. What she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in occult mystery. Okay. So, let's do the comparison then. Renala's full moon. Right, depends on the distance, but 1295 is the mid numbers on that one. Mm -hmm. And then the dark moon. More expensive. Hitting from that distance. When 1614 up close. Yep. So the closer they are, the more damage it does. And this one does more damage. 
right off the bat. Um, higher cost, a bit more damage, uh, and uh, the frost that comes from it oh. is going really well with my frost abilities. The frost, okay. So if I have the ability to um, use this to help my frost pop, then that makes more sense for my build. So, uh, that's cool. Plus the debuff towards magic damage after the fact. That's good. I th uh, it, Rani's Dark Moon is going to replace Renala's. Dark, it just uh, gets moon. better mm -hmm. the more you use it. Okay. Uh, furthermore, if I have a spell that, if I have a staff that amplifies full moon sorcery, um, I would, I would hope that the dark moon counts as a type of moon sorcery. You know, um, unless it's really only her one spell. But I, uh, it, it seems like with both, it would. It should, right? It, it, the, 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 yeah, the, the naming of it seems to imply that it would, it would affect both. So, cool. That's cool. All right, thank you, Rise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waiting for the next patch, maybe. So, Tisha. Hello? Okay, now you're doing things. Tisha Whoa. moves. Movement. Tisha moves. Go for the ankles. Nice combos. Good distance. Nice. Solid support. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Very, very slick. All over the place, right? but doing the work. Uh, yeah, Tish plus maybe six or so? Doing work. And to the point where usually at this point, um, they just get stomped the fuck out. I'm like, let's see how far Tish can go with it. And Tish, look at his life bar. See the top of it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Hit HP locked. The lockout, right? Because of the because of the blade. And furthermore, um, he is scarlet rotting right now. That's not bad at all. So the ability for the life lockout, the scarlet rot... Or, or not rot, but whatever. If it's what is not, what is it? It's not rot. What is it? Is it? It's destined death. Okay, excuse me. The coloring made me think of that for a second, but um, but he's getting uh, he's getting hit with that. It's it's do it. It's watch the numbers drop on him. Yeah, damage over time. And with between those two things and the fact that she. Um, attacks frequently uh, makes me look at her and go, Tish is a very valuable summon. That's awesome. Yeah, I believe. Um, not many will solo this giant, but she did. Um, so I, I fucking... I'm like, alright, that passes the test there. Uh, I'm just... Yeah, so, so uh, I guess we'll have to look at her, her dagger again, because... Um, the coloration and the fact that it did such quick dropping of the of the health made me think it was Scarlet Rot. But like, if it's not that, and if it's not um, um, Black Flame, which is what was on top of EG when we saw him, then I guess cooking. Yeah, well, Destined Death is what we're seeing here. But I mean, um, have we seen that uh, on anything else we have so far? Anyway, I'll have to take a look once we're out of this, but... So, yeah, that was a good test. Um, Went back to the Dragon Communion Church, because we haven't been back there in a minute. Okay. We've got some new hearts from new dragons. True, true. And... Okay, no, that's an excellent I want to. Superior Incantation of Dragon Communion channels the power of Smarag, the Glintstone Dragon. Transforms the caster into a dragon to spew magic breath from above. Charging a sense duration, this incantation can be cast while jumping. Smarag was a devourer of sorcerers, and over time his body became corrupted by their glintstone. So, uh, before um, protecting Rani, uh, the reason for all the magic coming out of the dragon is because it consumed literally it, it ate mages 
So uh, that's where. Or am I thinking of the wrong dragon? Uh, oh yeah, Adula. Adula was the one that came back, right? When we fought in the Moonlight Altar. My mistake. Okay. There's because there's also Glintstone Dragon for Adula, I think, in the okay. description. I, uh, yeah, my mistake on the name. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, anyway, so that was uh, one of the new descriptions from, from the newer hearts we had. Um, then I went back to visit the jar because we haven't Hello, been there in a minute. Say, cuz. Oh, you met Jarbird. Alexander. He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said... The path of champions must be trod alone. <laughs> so heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past, and the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander. <laughs> and I'll have to leave the village to become a champion. Uncle Alexander won't come back here again. My home is of the past. I suppose. Okay. That. All right, little one. Sit and refresh. Ah. Hello again. Hello. Do you know what a poacher is, cuz? They hunt us, smash us, and then take us away. Oh, no. This village is kept secret. So, I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz... I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. Poachers, huh? You mm -hmm. want that dumpling? Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Those awful yeah. poachers. Hey man, I only swing at the jars that come for me first. Yeah, that's been established. Oh boy. Still moving. Just sleeping. Please. No, Scary though. Don't break us. He sits. Oh. And back to normal. Okay. Those awful poachers. Yeah. I hope Uncle Alexander beats. Just a them random out. fucking scare <laughs> for no reason. You know. Survived. And then that's it. What the so then I was like, oh, let me go talk to Alexander and see if maybe, you know, if anything's... I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, I see okay. giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. So I guess not. And for the record, you can bloodhound step on lava, and it seems like we're fine. You're doing really good on the lava. It is not Dark Souls lava. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been trained to treat lava as such, but it turns out it is not at all like that in this game. Um, so, that's it. Not bad. Okay, you had a nice little experience there. Yep. Stupid rise. Yep. Um, and uh, in the meantime, I used the upgrade materials we made from last time around to go and uh, pump up the Cold Star Fist. Plus 22. Mm -hmm. So the Cold Star Fist now edges out over the spiked Cestus. Wow. In damage. By three. Uh, 
despite being one level below, mind you. So we are fully doing the big dumb spike ball fist, right? You're going to keep the style? I'm absolutely going to go that, that <laughs> silly with it. And because we're going that silly, why not um, uh, get some attire? Oh, hey, stop it. To, to match, so I, I was playing around with the different looks, you know, thinking about the idea of the, the punch mage, and I have put on this deathbed companion dress, which I thought was a very nice dress, but my favorite part about it is that the guns are out. <laughs> <laughs> so this elegant, beautiful dress with the guns out are, is very, very, uh, very cool to me. I appreciate that. And uh, the contrast with the big dumb spikes is wonderful. We still got the briars on, so the briars tech stays in touch. I see them. Uh, de defense takes a hit, of course, when you're wearing something this uh, this uh, sheer. Mm. But um, the style is, in, is 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 in play. Yeah, it works. And uh, we've also switched over to uh, the. We switched off of the rune of um, Godric, and we've put on. Um, Radon's. Aha. Uh -huh. Because uh, at this point, doing a comparison to both runes being on, uh, it's just a better, it's a better um, net for the level we're at. So that's really good. You get better everything, you know, overall with um, Godric's, but like the returning numbers for HP, FP, and and, and Copload specifically. Our, um, our stamina, rather, are just better to switch up to the other room. So, we've done that, too. Um, yeah. So, I guess that's pretty much it. That's a lot. And, uh, Greetings. she no longer has any lines Anything to say, to say. since Dung Eater's thing is in, is, is in the happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Right, we need to find some more seedbed curses. We do, we do, or not, whatever. But yeah, let's let's try to finish out his side uh, quest to see what's going on. A um, lot of a lot of people are like, "Wooly, he's yelling about how much he's going to murder people. What do you think is going to happen?" And I'm like, "I explained my train of thought already <laughs> on that one. We don't need to, you know, you get me or you don't. It's fine." What I want to look up is what we just read about the Black Knife. Um, because Oh, yes, the damage over time thing, right? Because we were getting hit with it from opponents, but I, I guess we didn't necessarily look at it as something we were going to be doing ourselves. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what I was looking at then, I guess, when I, when I saw Tish using it just a moment ago. Um, I guess it would be item type, and it would be up in the daggers. Uh, yeah, so no listed. Okay, just holy damage. Listed there. Um, blade of death. Power oh. of the rune of death to fire yes. a blade-like projectile. In addition to immediate damage, it reduces the enemy's maximum HP and continues to wear down after a while. Okay, so it's not called destined death in this description. But... Nope. But it's still synonymous. Because we did rune later see that the Rune of Death is the same as Destined Death. Ye Therefore, uh, uh, that's that's that connection. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. So, um, two places come to mind that I really would like to, to visit. Okay. And uh, the first... Ah, just to head back down to where we were. Will you heed Melina's words? Melina seemed... Melina seemed really adamant. Right? Yeah, Yeah, she's, she's gone like, now. Don't do it, homie. She really seemed adamant about that. We got... It's not worth it. No fewer than three warnings. Go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. Okay. Well, 
um, divesting yourself of your possessions is uh, something I'm not uh, interested in doing. Uh, this is a non-combat zone, but uh, that is one hell of a door. And um, I think I said it last time, but uh, before, if ever, we decide to find out what the content down there is about, uh, why don't we get Michaela's Needle, as detailed in the notes, as something that might help with this situation? Because mm. I'm not going to... I'm not going to distrust Melina's words here. Resist the influence of the Outer Gods. Those who have inherited the Flame of Frenzy yet wish not to become its lord would do well to seek Mikella's Needle. Right? So... Where would that be? I don't know, but... Um, feels like we're being uh, warned to uh, do this before considering seeing what the fuck is going on that way. Okay. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna heed that. Now, this is a completely different direction over here. Uh, which was hilarious fun times. Upon discovering it, uh, last time, so... Maybe... Maybe we can find a needled over here? Inside this new zone. Try horse. Alright. We peeked inside, mm -hmm. but we never dropped. Nope. And now we've lived the grace. And this is deep root depths. Root facing cliffs. Uh, we're back here. Okay. So there's more to this area, then. Okay. Fine. It's not New Zone. <laughs> okay. I was I was mentally preparing for New Zone. Um, whoa! And it counts as outside. That's crazy. I don't believe it. Oh, summoning pool. Huh. This counts as outside. Deep. I guess a lot of people didn't know that they can call Torrin out here. Try a ranged battle. With an item in the back. Oh, you fuckers. You're not a big deal. Off of that squirt, though. Yeah, it was. It was. It was never really that big of a <laughs> of an issue. Oh, there, there was one time where it sent you a message, and you were like, "Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I can die from this still." <laughs> yeah, it, just, it doesn't. It doesn't afflict anything, though. So, I guess that's. Uh, oh, I, that's the queen. Yeah, let's get a nice angle on this. No. No. No, eh? Hmm. What if I did something like this? Because I know it dies in one pop. Mm hmm. Uh. Where is that weird ass effigy? There it is. The infant's head. Straight down. How far does it go? Yes, it reached. Hey. Fuck yeah. It does stay for a while. Okay, you're alright. Yep. What? When you want the damage to come right beneath you, accept no substitutes. Okay. So. There's items over there. I'm not gonna trust Torrent for this drop, though. I feel like I might need to be aware. 
ready for whatever caused this bleeding to occur. Oh, just bad platforming? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Oh, turned around and fell. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Smitting six. Deeper depths. Uh, are we just higher up from the original spot? Yeah, I think so. Oh, really? Okay. Damn it. Okay, that's all it is. A connection. Yeah. Yeah. The difference in range is crazy. Yeah, this one travels. Okay. That was scary. An item over there. Doesn't look like anything over here. Time for a bike. Horse ahead, short, seek recklessness. Or, you know, don't. Two. Ant rocks. Okay. There's another one up there. Oh. Oh, there's more to collect. I see. Uh, will this branch lead me towards? No. That goes under. Yeesh. This path goes underneath the item yeah. to get back up top of it. Gotta go in there. Well, shit. I guess we'll know once we get there. Okay, Lighter. Draw distance. Yeah. Steady. Oh, is that a jump? Try horse. Yeah. Rune eight. Okay. And then down there. Uh -huh. Oh man, those shadows. <laughs> yeah, I see them. <laughs> Okay. Okay. There's no hole there, right? Ah, boy. Oh, got yourself in trouble there. Yep, just a little bit. There we go, alright. Let's... Nope, not that one, not that one. Oh my uh, god. Uh, and we're off. Alright, alright! Lost control of the situation oh, there. That's with the ants! <laughs> Lost control, didn't clean the surface before we, we approached it. You saw one, two, like oh, I can take those. No, I, 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 I thought, oh uh, yeah, yeah, didn't, <laughs> didn't properly look around. 
Mm. Got what was coming. Arrive, yeah. uh, the right move would have been to switch to the blade and chop, chop up. everywhere. But we very quickly lost control. Okay. Was there anything beyond that? I mean, gotta go find out for sure. Back on the branches. Probably still have to clean up for security's sake. Jesus. Nope. Yeah. So I didn't take this one last time. It leads you right down to that one? Okay, it just gives you a better angle of it. Uh huh. That's. Uh, that's probably a survive but take damage drop. Nope. Huh. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Maybe if you fell? I don't know. Nah. No, not even, huh? The distance between that and, and the others, that's just. That's just a death death. I wonder if like the tiny jump would have like contributed, like made a difference I've between been, life or death. Not no, because it, it can in some situations, um, and uh, basically the threshold for which you survive to when you take to when you die can definitely add to it. Um, but um, that was just that was just death both ways. Mm. It was, it was too far, too far, too much hang time. Yeah, I still see uh, people fighting about like what's the rule on death. I keep seeing like oh, twenty well, meters or something. I mean, uh, all I can say is when I was getting um um chicken foot uh, hunting. Like, there's a cliffside, which is the exact distance for survivability and lethality, like, within a couple steps of each other. Okay. So, with that, I was able to see, like, like, there's a point you can, there's a height you can be at where the difference between jumping and not jumping will kill you. Um, but it really is a matter of, like, it's the slightest bit of elevation. So, like, let's say this is the amount that way you drop and you take like 25% damage, this would be like 75% and like that would be death. Okay. That's how Very slight close, it, it yeah. can be. Um, but the distance that killed me that I dropped from before over there was just death all the way around, <laughs> is, is all I'm trying to say. All right, this is just a cleanup before we eventually get back to the path that we've already visited. So yeah. I hope uh, it's not too much detour here. Seems to go pretty deep, all the way down, right? But we've already been down there. Mm. Did I do this? I did this the opposite way. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I still need to get up there? Yeah, I can just do that. And is that not where the bugs were hidden behind this thing right here? I uh, want to say they were visible once we approached, right? Here. Oh, god damn it, idiot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit further up ahead. I think. 
stupid backstep. <laughs> it was, that wasn't the same surface that I died on? Uh, I don't think so. Like... They were on the wall the ants when we got yeah there. they were i just that's what but i was thinking there might be they might have been hidden out of view uh -huh. because of the way the branch was uh was set up Peek downwards off the cliff over there. I think there was some, something shining. Unless it was just my imagination. It might have been just my imagination. Oh, there. Uh-huh. Nice. 